You may know our next guest as a former Pittsburgh Steeler, as well as a motivational speaker and author, but he's also created something called the Pursuit Program to help local students take steps to succeed in the classroom and in life. He recruits other players to help mentor the middle and high school students, and now West Lines has added another project to help local teens. It's a business called Cakery Square with a grand opening in Homestead this upcoming Saturday. Wes is here to tell us a little bit more about it and how the kids are getting involved. So welcome, Wes. Thank Thanks for you. being here. I appreciate you having me. Should we um, should we address right off the bat the elephant in the room? How tall am I? <laughs> <laughs> and how short I am. Exactly. Most, most people don't know that I'm like 5'1", and yeah, you are... 6'8", and some change probably. So we're like opposite ends of the spectrum looking exactly. up and down today. Yep. This is great, and I love what you're doing here. This, the grand opening is this Saturday. Yes, it's this Saturday, uh, July 15th at 1 p.m. or 1 uh, yeah, p.m. We're doing uh, free mini cupcakes, and we're doing our grand opening. So it's going to be a pretty live event. How are you helping these, these kids, these students? So with the Pursuit program, usually every year we have a fundraiser. And this is how the bakery started, where we have a dessert tasting every year to raise money to help support the students in this educational curriculum that I have. So um, what we did was I decided to open a bakery. I want to open something in the community where we touch a lot of the students. So mm -hmm. we work with Still Valley, West Mifflin, Thomas Jefferson, Woodland Hills, a school in Wilkinsburg, St. Benedict, um, and on the Hill District. So we work with a lot of schools in this area, so I want to open up a, a bakery or a business in the waterfront where students can see and, and, and see a business professional in the area that they can recognize, that they can talk to, that they can uh, relate to in general. So not only are we mentoring in the school districts, but I want to open up something in the waterfront where the students can see a business owner and then they can uh, inspire to be something like that. So how are you mentoring them in this bakery? I mean, I know it hasn't officially opened yet, but what yeah. is your plan to help with the kids? So we did was, I I went through a hiring process. We had four positions available for the students, mm -hmm. and we opened up the, the hiring process to students within the pursuit program. So they use some of the skills that we talked about in the pursuit program in to the get the job. So that's how they Great. got the job. So we've had, I've had, I've worked with over 250 students, and we've had 100 of them say, give me a job. And then on the other hand, we had students reach out and use some of the skills that we talked about in the program, mm -hmm. reach out to me through email, tell me about their passion and why they're uh, interested in baking. And that's how we went through a hiring process and that's how they got the job. So we hired four students from different school districts. We work with, uh, we hired a student from Willen Hills, we hired students from West Mifflin, and we hired a student from uh, Sister Thea Bowman in Wilkinsburg. So we have some great students and Coming they've been in. doing a great job. And then we have five bakers that we work with that we've hired. Uh, this is well. not you. This is not me at all. I can't take credit for it, even though I would love to, but I cannot take credit for this. Well, you can take a credit for a lot yeah. more than that. But a lot of volunteers, a lot of the kids are coming in to volunteer just so they can be part of this. Yes, yeah, so we're in, uh, uh, we're located in Homestead, so that's in the Still Valley School District. So we've had, over the past few weeks, we've had students from the Still Valley School District come in and volunteer, come clean up, build boxes, uh, take out the trash, doing all the little grunt work that is, is uh, just... Uh, Usually no very one wants helpful. to do Yeah, nobody yeah. wants to do it, and it's very helpful for us because the bakers are working and then preparing for the grand opening where the students can come in and build these boxes. They build hundreds of boxes, awesome. so it's been very helpful. These kids even come down there on their bicycles um, just to have transportation down there, so it's been pretty cool just to see that. Wes, do you feel like um, because they can look up to you, uh, not just physically, just but <laughs> because exactly. of you know, your, your background, background. Um, do you think that they're more willing to ask for help and to come? come to these programs, I mean, I think that you, that really helps. Yeah, it does help, and, and that's what we're about. We want to be open as possible. We want to relate to everybody, because of the program, we work with women, we work with men, we work with everybody, all colors and races, and, and just we want to make sure we're impacting everybody every way that we can. So the boys may relate to the sports side, the former Pittsburgh Steelers side, right. and, and the NFL player side more to the bakery. Yeah. So we're touching everybody. We're making sure we can motivate and encourage everybody to be successful. That's great. And so what kind of products are you going to sell at this bakery? I mean, we're seeing some of them. I mean, it's the traditional fare that you would find at a bakery. Yes, this is. I mean, we're going to feature a lot of cakes. We do custom cakes, fondant cakes, wedding cakes. We've already had several wedding orders and we're not even open yet. So uh, here we have a, a several of our donuts. We have uh, some torts, some five-inch torts and a few cookies, s'more cookies, cupcakes at the grand opening. 
evening, we'll be giving away these uh, mini These little cupcakes. mini ones up front. And, yep, long right. as supplies last. So we're expecting a pretty big crowd, so we're looking forward to that. And we're going to give away as much as we can and just have a really good time there. All right, well, best of luck to you. Thank you so much for bringing in these beautiful cakes and displays. And, uh, and I hope that the program is a true success. It sounds like it already is. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, don't miss the grand opening of Cakery Square. Again, that's this Saturday. The ribbon cutting is at 1 o'clock with free mini cupcakes while supplies last. You'll find Cakery Square at 159 East Bridge Street in Homestead. And is that right across from the Permanis, the new yes, Permanis? that's right across from the new Permanis okay. uh, next to Rally House, and it's right in that Macy's Courtyard area. Great. Okay, thank you so much.